there, Wendy here with Jazzy Doodle Designs, and I got the Arteza Iconic pins, and so I thought I would unbox them with you. So this is how they came. I've already opened this, um, but they come in this packaging, so in a box with paper, and then in that box, it came in this cardboard wrapping and then in a tin. Y'all, we gotta say, without a doubt, Arteza is going to win the packaging award. So let's take a look. It says Arteza Unique Colors 0.44 millimeter line, triangular barrel, water-based ink. You get 120 pence. So it does say that they are AP certified, which my understanding means that they're non-toxic. Now, to be fair, I didn't look at the others. I didn't look on the other ones. I will try and research that before our whole roundup video. So in the tin, they come with, well, let's look at the back of the tin first. So on the back of the pin, or, Okay, let's start again. On the back of the tin, it lists all of the colors in a nice color family order, and it has a number and a name. So that's really nice. I do like that. There are some helpful tips, and you can join an Arteza club and get a, a percentage off of your purchase. So that's nice. It says it's designed in the USA, but manufactured in China. So let's take a look at the pens themselves. Let me zoom. Well, I'm going to keep you. <laughs> we'll zoom you out just a touch. So the tin is nice that it doesn't just pop right open. Like I'm holding it up and it's not popping open. It's got little indentions here but it's not hard to open either. So that is nice. So, so far they have really impressed me with packaging. I like that there are bungee cords here. Well, that's kind of a fail, isn't it? <laughs> but um, as far as the tray, super flimsy red tray, um, not impressed with this. Of course, you can fix that. You can feed it back through, which I'll do. And then you open up the flange, and then um, you have this. However, with it being so easily pulled through, I can totally see myself pulling it up and having them splay out everywhere. Um, but let's take a peek. We'll just pick one in the middle here. Um, the pins are plastic. They say Arteza in the shiny writing. Let's get you, let's zoom in and get a less distracting background. Okay, so it says Arteza Iconic 0.4 A101. I will say I absolutely hate the writing. It is extremely hard to read. I'm in really good light right now, and I have to do all this tilting to get it in just the right non-reflective light in order to read the number. So I'm not impressed with that. It is a triangular barrel, which is not my favorite, but it's not bad. These are a little less comfortable to me. The plastic's a little, it feels different. It feels cheaper maybe. I don't know. It's like a hard plastic, but I do like that the the pen, you know, the ends match. Okay, so the lid is tight. Um, let's see if you can see that. It's got a nice fine tip with the metal, um, with a 0.4 millimeter barrel. So hopefully these will loosen up. They aren't quite as bad as the shuttle art, but they're definitely tight. Um, the ends do park, and I do like that because then you don't lose your, um, 
you don't lose, you know, your cap when you're working with them. So there are no names on the pen. There are names on the back of the tin, which some might like. I personally, when I'm working with things, I do prefer names over numbers in terms of like if I'm remembering a combo, I can, I can remember, you know, pale green light or sage green or or whatever better than I can 1041 or something like that. But that being said, it does have a way to identify it. So I'm going to show you the rest of the pens and then we'll do a squiggle and then we'll be back. So I'm going to zoom you out a little because there are 120. So, so far, Arteza is winning for packaging. It's winning for overall number because it's got 20 extra pens. And, let's see, I think, yeah, see, look, another failure. So that is annoying. But it does have three tins of color. So let me do it this way. See if I can keep from spewing them everywhere. So there are all of your colors in their glory. And I have to say, that's beautiful. I I love I love a lot of colors. I don't want 520, but I do prefer between 70 and 120. That is my personal um, sweet spot when it comes to markers and pins. I like to have a choice. I don't want to be overwhelmed. So anyway, those are the colors. I am going to um, scribble them out and then we'll do our review and then we'll see how they how they fare in terms of performance. So I'll see you in a few. Okay, so let's take a look at the palette. So there are 120 colors, which is really nice. You get a nice selection. A um, couple of initial thoughts. There were a couple of colors that seemed to be significantly less juicy. I wouldn't go so far as to say I felt like they were dry, but they definitely weren't as juicy as some of the others. But ironically, there were, if you look on the ends of some of these, you will see like little uh, filled in spots. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Um, here, 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 where when I would take the, the cap off and go to use it, there was almost like a little bubble of fluid there. And it seemed to me that I don't know that it was like a full blob of ink. It almost seemed more, um, more of a clear liquid. It was hard to see. And when you first open it up, you could see it and then it would quickly evaporate or suck back into the pen. I'm not sure which, but if I just pulled them off and started, it would leave a slight, not a big, you know, splotch, but a little more blobby than the rest of these. You can see here, you know, the crisp little circle, whereas on a lot of these, you see more of a filled in circle to begin with, or a thicker circle. So that's just something to note. Um, overall, they were easy to use. I did notice a big disparity between how easy the pens um, opened. Some were particularly hard, like this one, where I really had to tug to get it off, and others where it was just a lot more simple. And some of them were, ex like this one's, I mean, it takes no pressure. Like, you can see, just pop, pop. This one's like full on, got a really tug. So there is a difference. Whereas with the shuttle art, it was consistently hard. And with uh, the Stabilo and the Tri Plus, 
I had no issues. I felt like it was very consistent, much more like this one, where you had to give it a little tug, but it wasn't too loose and it wasn't too tight. So the Goldilocks, you might say. <laughs> this is more like the three bears. So um, I thought that was interesting. So let's take a peek at, did I want to say anything more about the palette? Not really. I mean, when you get 120 colors, you're definitely going to get a broader range in your palette. That's that's just the way it goes. There are some colors here, here, um, here, where I feel like there are some that are really close. Are they 100% the same? No. But when you start getting into your higher numbers, you're going to run into that. Overall, though, I don't feel like it, you know, it's not like half of them matched the other half. So I feel like it's it's a good palette. So let's take a look and I will back you out because, <laughs> you know, we want to see the whole page, Wendy. OK, can you see it? That's for me to do. OK. Um, so this is the Arteza. Now these are not, they have another line called Arteza Fine Liner. And my understanding is that they're a little cheaper and they don't have the numbering system. So this is the Iconic system um, or the Iconic 120 set. Okay. So packaging, definitely getting five stars. It was well packaged in a box. It had a protective cardboard sleeve. It came in a nice tin. While I wasn't wooed with the, the little um, elastic bands, they definitely popped through. <laughs> if, I, if all of these came in a tin, I would ding them for that. And the trays are flimsy. So I would ding them for that a little. However, given the comparison of all the other packaging we have seen to date, I can't in good faith not give them all five stars. <laughs> so keep that in mind. Um, 4680 was the... Um, the cost of these, so that makes them 39 cents. Okay, so as far as how many stars to give it, we, we gave the expensive pens two stars. We gave the really cheap ones five stars. We gave the, the, the medium one four stars, so I'm going to give this one three. Number available, 120. Now there are smaller sets available. I think, let's see, it looks like you can get 12, 24, 48, 72, and 120. So definitely five stars there. Now they, to the best of my knowledge, they are not open stock anywhere. Do, so they won't get any stars. <laughs> Does the barrel match the swatch? So I wanted to point out when I was talking about, you know, some of these greens being similar, I was looking like at the barrel matching. Um, this one, 220 is this one. I don't think that matches at all. I guess we can zoom in a little while we look. Um, I don't think that one matches at all. This one is A111. This one matches really well. So, but look at how close those barrels are. I mean, you would think that these two colors would be closer than these two. So there's that. Once again, we got two really similar barrels. This one is 155. See why I number these? I haven't numbered these because it is so 
hard to find. So there's that one. And 166. And it's hard to read these. Oh, here it is. Okay, so once again, two very similar barrels. Technically, this one is lighter, and I guess it is. But to me, there's a pretty significant difference between those two. One ninety-two. Um, to me, that does not match. I would think it would be maybe that one, but definitely not that one. Uh, 109, I think that's a pretty decent match, and there's nothing else similar. Uh, 181, that one's pretty good. 215, and that one's pretty good. So those are really close here. And they're really close there. So that makes sense to me. I feel like those are very accurate. 218. Once again, pretty accurate. So I try to pick um, some, you know, if you look at these two colors, let's look at those maybe. Um, 177. This right here is 100% why I number these, because with my system, I could totally just grab them. 177 is this one. Okay, that's pretty good. And uh, 158 is this one. So, okay. <laughs> so I got a phone call and I'm not sure where I left off, but while I was chatting, I decided to pull this pen as well. So you can see there's a little variation on the lids and there is a little variation here, but they're all very similar colors. Now, I, per I personally like those kind of colors, so I'm not mad about it. But, you know, they, they are pretty similar. But like I said, when it's a good color, we can't be mad, can we? Well, maybe you can, because maybe you don't like that color. But I just wanted to point those out. But overall, I, I don't think it's awful. I don't think it's great. I would probably give them three stars because there are some that are very different and others that are really spot on. So once again, we kind of got Goldilocks and the three bears. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go with bleed through. So a little more ghosting with these on on this harder cardstock than let me see if you can see it right here. Um, then we saw with the others, though not bad. Like you, you know, I am kind of nitpicking. I guess is what I would say. Let's take a look on our see-through paper. And so as we go with the darker, when I was coloring over it more, um, we got just a touch of bleed through and then some heavy ghosting. Now, once again, let me remind you if you haven't seen any of the other videos, my paper is see-through. This is very, very thin copy paper. So to me, this would be on par with a lot of Bible books. And so if you're using these in the Bible books, if you were just writing, you know, um, how much bleed through would you get? A fair amount of ghosting, I feel, because that's just normal writing. Um, with all of these markers, if you go in the same line, you will get bleed through. See, I bled all the way through to here. Um, so you can't be going over and over an area. But I think that's pretty similar for all of the markers. So 
Personally, I'm going to give them probably two stars there. The palette, I think, is really good. I don't feel like we are we are really missing any colors. So I'm going to give them five stars for the palette. Taking a look at the pen itself, things I like about it. I like that the ends match. I like that they park. I like that um, they're not ridiculously hard to open for the most part. Um, I absolutely hate the writing. I have a difficult time reading it. I feel like I really have to adjust it at the right angle and I hope you can see that, that as I adjust it, there will be times when you're like, oh, I can read that really clear and other times not so much. So I don't really like that. I wish they had the name on it, but none of them do. So um, there's little dots here, which to me don't affect anything. I hold my pen a little farther back, so I'm not on the round part. Um, I'm more on the triangle part. Um, the ends, there's nothing really to note. As for the feel, it's a very lightweight pen. I feel like it's lighter than the other ones. So what does that mean? I don't know. Does that mean that they'll dry out quicker? Does that mean that the plastic they use is lighter weight? I have no idea. There's no clip on this, which personally, I, I'm not clipping them on things. So I don't really care about that. So I'm going to give them a three because to me, I, I like the heft of a pen. Like I like this pen because it has, I don't know, this is a personal thing. So it's subjective. I tend to like the feel of something substantial in my hand. I don't want it to be heavy, but at the same time, when it's really light, it doesn't feel as nice. I'm not as big a fan as of the triangle, though it's not uncomfortable. Um, the barrel here is round, so you don't have to worry about, you know, it fits any which way you put it on, so that's nice. As far as writing with them, I don't feel like it's as smooth of feel on the paper, and this is the exact same paper, um, the see-through copy paper and the cardstock that I use is exactly the same for all of them. It didn't feel quite as flowy as the Stabilo or the Tri Plus, but not scratchy at all. And other than those three that to me felt a little drier, so I don't know if it's that they're drier. They were all three lighter colors. Um, lighter colors can tend to evaporate more because they have more um, water or fluid um, and less pigment. So maybe that's it. But um, regardless, I feel like three is being generous. Um, smooth lay down. Um, let me get a different color. Let's go with a lighter color here. I mean, they are not bad. I feel, um, I'm going to give them, I'm going to give them three, I'm going to give them four stars because they aren't as smooth, but they're definitely not bad at all. I would expect that we'll have the same result with the water solubility as with all the other ones. Wow, not nearly as much. Let's, let's pick a different color, shall we? Uh, it kind of surprises me. Okay, so that color definitely bled more. That is what I was expecting. This color, I was not expecting that. So that's interesting to me. So 
I don't think these bleed as badly as some of the other ones. But we definitely, can we give it a star? No, I don't think we can. It's still, some of them bleed a lot, some not as much. While I find that interesting, I don't feel like I can reward just because they don't bleed as bad. <laughs> okay, so dry time. Let's pick a green. I haven't used a green. So that one didn't smear. Because they're all different here, let's see if they're different here. Um, I don't think that one smudged either. Let's do a darker color. This was more smeary. Or I don't think that they smudged at all. I mean, so I'm going to give them the full five stars for that. Okay, so on this side I have Prismacolor, and on this side I have Polychromos. So we will just take a fine liner. I'm going to use this color. They color over it beautifully. So no problems with that at all. So five stars for that. Okay, so the next one is color names and or numbers. So to be fair, if they didn't have any, we didn't give any stars. Stabilo had the numbers on them, so I gave it three stars. But And Triplus didn't have either. So... To be fair, there's three numbers. There's the number on the pen, but there's no name. So let me know in the comments what you think. Should I give them an extra star because there is a name on the box, but not on the pen? Okay, so to be fair, I went to Stabilo, and there is a color chart on their website so you can gather the names and the numbers and match them up. So I will do that and I'll put my chart in the Kofi shop. There is, there is one for the Arteza and I will put this chart on the Kofi shop. And it, it does have the name, the number, and then of course my number because I will put numbers on these so that I can put them away and find them easy. As far as the tri-tip, so I was looking and I didn't see a chart. I googled chart. Nothing came up. However, if on page four of the fine liners, if you go to tri plus fine liner 334, the colors are listed on the, there's like um all the little squares like this, these little squares are up there. If you hover over them with your mouse, the color comes up. So it will say, number one right here, that's yellow. If I go to the next one, it says 10, light yellow. Okay, so I will do the extra work for you all and put them on my Kofi shop. <laughs> But Stadler, could you make it more complicated? I literally locked into that because I was like, oh, how annoying, it's not there. And I just moved my mouse like to get off the screen and it, it went over and I saw a name. That's the only way I knew that they were there. So, boo Stadler. But Arteza, you only get three stars because that's how many I gave Stabilo. So even though there's a chart, um. They're not on the pen, so that's what we're going with. So other things to note, it took nine days for me to get this. Okay, so first world problems, I know, but every other set, this was the first set I ordered, the first one, the last one to get. I ordered them all through Amazon, and I've opened them all with you in the order that they came. I literally ordered these 
the same day that I ordered the Heathrone. Okay? And the Heathrone came, I think, either same day or next day. So they were like, you want it on it? <laughs> Give Wendy her pens. Artizos like, yeah, okay, when we get around to it. But maybe they need more time to package it correctly because Heathrow obviously threw it in a bag and shipped it off. <laughs> so maybe that's what it is. But I wanted to note that because when you order things from Amazon, it's really, in my experience, rare to get things nine days later. I have Prime. So I very, very rarely get things this late. So I just wanted to point that out. I'm not going to ding them. So let's do some math, shall we? Shall we get the calculator? <laughs> All right, we got 5, 10, 13, 16, 17, 18, uh, 23, 26, 30, 35, 40, 43. So 43 stars. So who do I think that these are for? I think that these are very good fine liners. They are well packaged. They lay down good. They have all the colors. They're reasonably priced. And they cover, they cover our colored pencils. They, they're not smudgy. I just, I don't think you could go wrong with these pens at all. Now, to be fair, I personally feel like Stadler and Stabilo feel better and have a little bit smoother lay down. But is that enough to justify the price? I think that's an individual decision, much like do I go for polychromos or do I use color? Both are good uh, colored pencils, but they serve different budget lines and different needs. Not everyone can afford polychromos. And I think these are a very good set. I wouldn't even consider them a budget set. So that's my opinion on these. Um, so there you go. Okay, so that's it for this review. Um, I will, this will be my last um, individual review. I'm not going to be ordering any fine liners anytime soon. There are definitely other fine liners out there. The one that comes to mind, Jody with J.I. Colorist, says that she really likes the Tombow Twin Tones. Um, but at this point, I'm up to my eyeballs and fine liners, and so I will just throw that out for those that are interested. You may want to do some other testing because there are definitely other fine liners out there. What to look for next? I am going to do a roundup where I will show you how I plan to use these and a couple of techniques that I've been playing with, but I am going to show you different ways that you can use the products that you have. And so look for that and I will try and pit them together. I will show you all, um, how many do I have? Five. So I will show you all five brands so that the pins will be laying side by side so you can get an idea of length and, and girth and you know, direct comparisons, if we have park, if we have um, sticky lids, if we have easy lids, we're going to go through all of them side by side by side, and we'll look at each of the palettes in relation to other palettes. So we'll talk about all those things. For, so look for that video. And if you're still with me, hit the like button. <laughs> Let me know. As always, take care and happy coloring. Thank you for watching another video from Jazzy Doodle Designs. If you enjoy adult coloring content, please consider subscribing. You can now find me on Instagram and Facebook as well. I welcome all comments and suggestions. Don't forget to like the video before you go, and until next time, take care.